Hi, and welcome back to Super Recaps. Glad to have you back once again. So in today's movie, we will be talking about Minamata, a drama movie produced in the year 2021 and directed by Andrew Levitas. Watch out for spoilers ahead and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more videos like this. Flashback to 1971 in New York, there lived a war photographer named W. Eugene Smith who is in a constant war of words with his boss Robert. Robert is the CEO of the magazine company where Eugene works. They never seem to get along well. One night, Eugene was visited by a young Asian woman named Aileen, who is a representative of a particular company named Puji Films. They want Eugene to advertise for their company, claiming that Puji Films are the best when it comes to color films. But there is a problem because Eugene has never used a color film before and anyone that knows his work will know that he has never used a color film. But the real intent of Aileen isn't just about the interview, she wants Eugene to help her people in Japan with his work of photography since he is a popular war photographer. The people of Minamata are suffering and are hidden from the media. A certain company in Minamata Kumamoto, Japan named, Chiso Corporation, is indiscriminately polluting the environment and people are dying as a result of the toxic waste. The people need help. They just need global attention. Eugene does not want to get involved, but the thought of the things going on in Japan got him restless. The next day he takes the horrific images shown to him by Aileen to his boss in the middle of a board meeting. Fortunately for him, a young lady among the board members confirms the story and Eugene wondered why no one has covered the story. He just had to go to Japan. Eugene sets out to Minamata in Kumamoto, Japan, where he is to carry out his assignment. He was greeted by the gory scenes of Minamata, as a result of the industrial negligence of the company. On their arrival, Eugene and Aileen were hosted by a family whose eldest child named Akiko is also a victim of this man-made disaster. Caring for these victims by their families is a very big challenge. Most of these families are very poor. Things are really hard for them. The people of Kumamoto do not like attention, they were camera shy. So it was difficult for Eugene to take photographs of these people. Some ignorant people of Kumamoto blamed evil spirits for their unfortunate conditions. Of course, the CEO of Chiso Corporation isn't pleased with the presence of Eugene and will do anything to get him off his back as quickly as possible. However, Eugene takes interest in a young boy suffering from Minamata disease to the point of teaching him how to use a camera. It was surprising to those around, even the little boy because the victims of this disease were often despised and avoided. The family members of the sick persons were despised too. Later on, Eugene and Aileen, along with a young man who was simply identified as the enforcer, visit the victims of Minamata disease in isolation and take pictures of them with the consent of the victims. Their thorough research led to the discovery that these victims have been suffering from mercury poisoning. To make matters worse, the company knew about this all this while but did nothing about it. During their time working together, Eugene and Aileen started developing feelings for each other, but it did not stop them from pressing on with their investigation. After much effort, Eugene finally meets with the CEO of the company who tried convincing him that the water is safe for human consumption and that whatever he might have heard about the company isn't true. Eugene was offered a huge sum of money, obviously to mess with his mind. As a result of his resilient attitude, Eugene and Akiko's family faces persecution in form of home invasion and harassment from the local police who are working for the company. The memories of all these and what the victims are going through made Eugene resilient and more determined. The next day he returned the offer made to him by the CEO of the company. Eugene was more determined than ever. Things were going well between Eugene and Aileen until this particular night, Eugene's mini photo studio that houses all his equipment and images was burnt down. Eugene is devastated and discouraged. He wanted to give up. Eugene calls his boss to inform him that he is coming back. But then, his love for the people would not let him give up. He is determined to help these people. The people in turn offered to support and cooperate with him. He could now freely take pictures of the people and their sick loved ones. That was the motivation Eugene needed. Eugene took a thorough picture of everything including the company's toxic waste disposal in the river that the locals fish and drink from. On the 7th of March 1971, all the people of Kumamoto, led by Eugene, gathered in front of the company in protest. They wanted to draw attention at least from the government of Japan and the company. The protest ended in chaos as Eugene got brutally beaten and sustained severe injury. Despite everything, the attack could not stop him. He took as many pictures of Minamata disease victims as possible and sends them across to his boss, Rob, who was greatly disturbed by the heartbreaking images he saw. The next day, the images got published by the printing company and circulated worldwide. At last, the voice of the people of Minamata in Kumamoto, Japan can be heard. Their heartbreaking condition was brought to the limelight. Thanks for watching and make sure to leave a like.